Hello, everybody. It's me again, Victoria Seamer. I'm here with Javier Garcia, and we are doing the what is it? The third section of Adobe Live today. Yep. Um, and so the past two days, we have been working on branding for a fake coffee brand that we. It's called Eclipse Coffee. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to do a really quick recap on what we've done over the past two days, and then get right back into it. Yeah. And I guess while you're setting up your files right now to show people why don't you guys all uh, tell us where you're from and uh, while i figure out which button it is this one <laughs> yeah yeah Full control. okay so cool. like um, yeah, why don't I'll you just, uh, do I'll a just quick go briefly through this um so eclipse is a premium coffee brand established in 2013 uh, focuses on crafting coffee and pairing it with unique mystical experiences uh they're a supporter of local culture um, Eclipse hosts uh, and sponsors many forms of art, so yeah. they might have maybe a, a music event in, in, in the coffee shop, or they might be uh, turn it into a gallery and put artwork yeah. everywhere. Um, so that's the kind of coffee shop we're going for. Um, again, the brand is called Eclipse Coffee, and uh, I wrote uh, a list of attributes. Uh, like it's a dark, mystical, artistic, and honest brand. Yeah. Um, I wrote uh, kind of a hierarchy of information of the stuff we need to put in there, and, and like I just kind of uh, made up three kinds of coffee that and they roast. And so you recommend making for people who, when they're trying to organize their thoughts, it's a really great idea to sort of lay out a brief like this to kind of yeah. gather your thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Even for 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 things you're doing for fun for yourself, like a personal project or whatever, uh, as a designer or even working on your own identity, things like that. They, like it helps to have something to design towards versus just starting from scratch. Yeah. You know, so I think having something and, and, and kind of grounded in what you are going to do from the beginning helps you kind of focus and, and get things yeah. done. Awesome. And then you, you also made a mood board. Yep. So I made a mood board for like, this is maybe the kind of coffee and the kind of people that come in. Um, it, it's probably, you know, dim lights. Um, there's probably skaters that go there. There's probably, you know, People with unique perspectives, um, get to maybe music musicians, graffiti artists. Um, they could probably host like a modern art gallery thing in there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the just, sweet. And, and oh the, wait, and then but we gotta show yeah, so the classics too for the, the uh -huh. inspiration. Yeah, this is this is the kind of shop that we're looking at and the people and the, it's, it's more of like to get in the zone or like in the mind of the people that yeah. are coming in here that are gonna buy this coffee. Um, these are just kind of competitors. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brand local brands. This this brand is supposed to be established in San Francisco. So these are just some brands that are around here um, that have that kind of vibe that we're going for. Okay. Um, and then this is kind of our inspiration uh, for visuals. Okay. Uh, obviously, it's called Eclipse, so a lot of uh, space images, um, eclipse images. Uh, the faces of the moon was very uh, inspiring for this project as a graphic element. Mm -hmm. um, and aliens too. Aliens as well. We love aliens yep. here at Adobe Live. So uh, uh, my process usually, uh, I'll go through the internet and, and, and find inspiration there, but I also, um, I'm a collector of books, old books uh, from the 60s, 70s, 80s, uh, mostly moder modernist stuff. Um, and, and I'll go through them and find like unique ways to kind of, you know, to try to do what I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to convey here. Um, so I just took some uh, quick fo uh, photos with my phone and, and put it in a in a mood board of things to try. Maybe like a pattern uh, uh, for like the moon faces, these two images, or maybe some sort of movement um, showing how the, the, the you know the moon is kind of moving through the sun and that kind yeah. of stuff. So just kind of graphical uh, <clears throat> approaches to maybe convey uh, what we're trying to show here. And oh, where do you make your mood boards? Because they are so organized. Yeah, just InDesign has a really nice feature that where you can just uh, select a whole folder of images. Oh, can you actually and, show that to us right now? Ooh, that's gonna take. Well, well, unless yeah. it crashes your computer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid that it will crash if um, I open another I use, app. I use sometimes. I also use. I like to have things on the web just because I have a tendency to destroy my computer a couple times a year because I am the worst person. But ever. it's it's super easy. <laughs> you like you how you normally dra uh, drop a photo. You literally drop. You know. Uh, it'll ask you to draw the shape of the of the photo, and just hold, uh, just uh, click up or down on your keyboard, and, and you start selecting. Um, I mean, up or down will select the number of rows. Yeah. 
and sideways it'll select a number of columns so okay. you just drop it and you can drop like you know eight images and and, and one page it and it, it'll space it out for you and then i just kind of tweak it and like space it out a little bit or make one image bigger or whatever okay awesome okay. Every, everything is that this press or this brief and this whole thing was done in, in uh in design in design okay well while you're getting into showing some of your stuff maybe i'll see if uh i'll set mine up so maybe we can show people just a quick version of what you did yeah, I actually, yeah, I, I kind of tweaked it. Uh, things ready to come. okay. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get right on. So uh, yesterday we were kind of uh, roughed it out, and we were asking people what they liked, and uh, we're still uh, we're gonna pick two um, options from what we had yesterday. Oh, okay. Um, kind of rolled it out to the other uh, coffee oh, kinds. Oh, nice. So it's a little bit more of a presentation, but um, it's maybe this is uh, this is kind of an internal um, check in. To see which options we're going to present to the client. Yeah. So, okay. So are we ready? Actually, can, should we post this too? I should. We can. Okay. So. Okay. May, I'll do it after. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about um, the things I I, I I think about the the current designs and and then okay, we can. So I, I'm gonna go back to where did it go? Mac. All right. Yep. So. Uh, I'm oh, not nice. going to have the, the numbers on it too. So the number in the top left corner is going to be the reference for these. We're going to do a quick run through and then we're going to post them on Twitter so that we can get, uh, you guys can take a closer look and maybe uh, give us your input also on what yeah. you're attracted to from what we've done so far. Yeah. I'm, um, yeah. I and mean, I'll post a, a summary of all the options in the end so you guys can um, go or, or just look into it a little closer because I'm gonna be flipping through this. So this is the <laughs> first option. I don't remember if this is the first one we created. Maybe not. Ooh, but where can you? Where can people find the old books that you've mentioned for references? Um, I'll, you can find them uh, online sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them are rare, but you can find them on Amazon. Use used books. Uh, um, Aid books is another good source. Uh, Bunch of stuff. I find stuff at thrift stores a lot. Yeah. Oh, nice. Whoever I early go... cream cheese has a bunch of print and communication arts from the '80s. That's awesome. Collecting old magazines is also a really, really great idea. Yeah, magazines, books, yeah. all that stuff. Um, I also I used to collect a, a lot of uh, vintage ephemera. Um, oh, Pollyanna. I had to get rid of some at some point because it just started. I started hoarding too many things, but. <laughs> I, I kept the good stuff. I, I like I like a lot of old stuff, uh, things from the '60s again. And yeah, um, I go to book sales as well. Okay, um, cool. So they, they do one here in San Francisco that's pretty big, and um, yeah, you can find some good stuff there. Anyways, uh, jumping into this, uh, this is one of the. F for, or we name it the option one for whatever reason. There's no particular order, um, so this is option one. We kind of played around with a. a um, eclipse image that I created uh, with India ink and a toothbrush and we just kind of started playing around I actually added uh, from what we had what we were yesterday started adding color and I rolled it out to the three different um, coffee flavors so I added a little bit of color to kind of hint uh, that that's a different skew yeah so we, we have the light roast the medium roast and the dark roast um, I think uh, by adding color it kind of made the, the flavor recess a little bit and, and made the logo come forward. Yeah. So that's our first read. That's, uh, you know, number one in our hierarchy. So I think that did a good thing. Um, and then after that, you kind of see the colors, which draw you to the roast and the and the, and the the name of the product. Yeah. So I think this, this, this one's working so far. Um, uh, and then this one. Um, nice. I, I had a little bit of trouble trying to find um, a, a way to make it work. I try to keep it uh, super simple. Um, <clears throat> I feel like it somehow doesn't do justice. I, I like the graphic a lot. Um, but yeah, I try to keep it minimal. I try to keep the type really simple. You did a um, really good job keeping the legibility at the bottom even with the, the gradation of the dots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I decided to add a little tab of color on the top for the roast. Um, I tried to add more color and it was just taken away from the graphic. Yeah. Um, no, there's something about the, this, yeah. you know, black and, and, and white uh, things we were doing that I try to keep the color simple mostly because um, you you need color somehow or, or you need to differentiate the product somehow. 
So I think the subtle color helps a little bit. <laughs> so Some people are pointing out well rounded with earthly vibes. It's a nice little <laughs> spacey yeah, I, jab. I went a little um, creative with that one. And that's probably Oh nice. Oh I like that you added the little uh, you added a little more is Yeah. It? I was trying to make Sheen. it look a little bit more premium. There's maybe like a foil stamp on it. Um uh, I like how the pattern is wrapping around. I think it's it, that's successful. I was uh, in, I intended it to be uh, just a varnish uh, on top of the bag, um, and then we got this little hit the color uh, with the flavor names. Uh, yeah, I think this one the flavor comes uh, forward a little bit, and the the, the logo kind of recesses, which it's not so bad because. Um, yeah. You usually go and pick up the. You have so many symbols, though. It makes it very mm -hmm. iconically like eclipse. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's successful at, um, at uh, telling the story of the eclipse. Ooh, we've got a touring audience. <laughs> oh, nice. This one's got kind of like an <laughs> 80s vibe to it. It almost reminds me of those notebooks. Mm hmm. Okay, the composition yeah, like, notebooks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so um, this one. Um, um, we just kind of I played around with the 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 star uh, or the space image that I created also mm -hmm. with the India and India ink and toothbrush. Um, mm -hmm. Just maybe adding it differently for each roast. Oh yeah, do you have the? Let's show that really quickly also while we're sure just for a second. So day one, Javier brought in all these textures that he actually made the weekend before. And with a toothbrush and India ink, he did all these crazy splatters um, and then scanned them and then brought them in and used them for this actual design, which I thought was really awesome to take a step outside the computer, make something with your hands and then bring it back in so that you get this. Yeah, yeah so I, I, I had a lot of fun. I think it looks pretty cool um, as a pattern in the background. Yeah. Um, this one again, a lot of type details to make it look uh, feel a little bit premium. Again, we went really simple with the typographic elements on the little label at the bottom. Um, <laughs> I had some other layouts yesterday. I think I went with like a more vertical uh, layout for this. And I, I think this one, uh, the flavor pops a lot, but uh, somehow the black behind the logo kind of helps you read that first, or at least that's how I read it. Yeah. And then you go to the <clears throat> label. Um, Sweet. So I think. Uh, in terms of hierarchy, it's working. A lot of negative space jokes yeah. out there. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, so the next option, um, nice. I was trying to show oh, a little the bit one of, on the right. Mm. I was trying to show yeah. a little a little movement on this. Um, I think uh, this was inspired by one of the images that I have uh, from that from those old books. Actually, I'll flip back. Um, it's kind of inspired by this. It, it, this kind of effect was done a lot in the 60s. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of uh, brand identities that were done that way. And um, then anyways, I thought it would, it, it's kind of interesting uh, for this purpose to show how, you know, the motion of the, the movement uh, uh, over the sun and stuff happens. So I think it communicates that part of the, yeah. the, the message it's, well. It's such a beautiful abstraction of the original yeah. concept. This one yesterday, now this one's grown on me quite a bit. I still like it with the black background mm -hmm. over the white background, but. So I'm, I'm rolling it out to yeah. all the skews. Maybe, uh, I'm not sure if this is uh, how we're gonna treat it or not, but maybe the, the, the dark rose is the one that goes to a black bag. Oh, and Mary uh, Beth. So we could still have it in the set. Mary Beth is asking about your scanning process um, and how you are using this image now. Yeah. We talked about that a little bit yeah. yesterday, but maybe you can just highlight it. They're not they're not vectors. I like to work with bitmaps. I scan it high res. Uh, I, used, I think I just scan it at 300 dpi at whatever the size of my scanner. I think it's only um, 11 uh, or in half by 11 or maybe mm -hmm. a little longer than that. So whatever that uh, in uh, 300 dpi's. And then um, I don't really need to, to have more detail th than that uh, at that point. I turn it into a bitmap and I, I upsize it. Um, before I turn it into bitmap, I, I outsize it and this, the, the dots get a little bit blurry. But once you turn it into a bitmap, it kind of sharpens it because and uh, when you turn something into a bitmap, there's no grays. Yeah. It's all black or white. So it kind of sharpens it back, and, and it's just a texture. So it, uh, I'm not looking. Yeah, to, it works. It works keep, really well in this context. I'm not looking to keep any details for it. So that's my process. And then you bring it into Illustrator or InDesign, and uh, the white of the image 
does not show through. So whatever's black, you can just change the color, make it whatever uh, color you want. And uh, it's almost like a vector, but it's it's a whole image and you can't move things around. It's yeah. just one you know, square image. Okay, awesome. And then what do we have? We have one more? So, oh, there's mm. this one. Just kidding, where, this one's um, my favorite. Number six, I'm owning number six right yeah. now. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think this one was uh, uh, an idea that I had from the beginning when I was creating the, the pattern or the, spl uh, the splatter, I guess, with the toothbrush. I knew I wanted an, uh, an option that was all black and spacey and um, uh, somehow while we were working on this yesterday, we started playing around with uh, moving the pattern to the left and showing a little bit of white. Well, first it was a mistake because yeah. you were just showing people your layers to show how you mask things in Illustrator and you had shifted over mm -hmm. the black area so we had the white splash yeah. and we kept that and then someone in the audience suggested making it sort of like a moon yeah. and then it... And I really like that this, idea. Which is really awesome. So great teamwork, guys. I really like that idea. <laughs> we turn it. Uh, we turn this shape into uh, like a big circle, same as this one. Um, it, it looks like the moon for some reason for like the, 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 yeah, the it texture does, of yeah. the paper of the mock-up that I'm using. Um, oh, this is awesome. It does look like the moon. So um, the idea also for this, uh, I didn't use any color. I'll explain it a little bit. Um, the idea for this would be that the light roast um, doesn't have any white uh, showing through. The medium roast is showing more white and then, uh, or more of the moon, I guess. And the dark roast shows even more of the moon. So we, I also, you know, I, I think it's, you know, it, it will be a little bit hard to differentiate this two uh, at first glance, but I, I, you know, I think we're doing it in two ways. We got the, the, the background changes. And I, we also added this little icon set that uh, Victoria suggested um, to show the, the yeah, roast. Yeah, this is fun. So it goes from light to medium to dark, um, which I think it's successful still at keeping or, or differentiating each skew a little yeah, bit. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, so you're adding the moon in yours because it's more of like a full bodied? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, that was kind of the, the how I started to see it. So this could be a whole set. Um, all the light rows would be in the in the black bag. Mm -hmm. All the dark rows, you know, or medium rows here. Yeah, it could be reversed as well. Yeah. Yeah, someone just I wrote just, that. I was just thinking about that too. That's so interesting. So we're this is not a presentation. This is still. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, we're only know, we're only four hours in. Yeah, this to this is four process hours. right now. This is what we've done in the first four Eclipse. hours of the show. They're the worst client. <laughs> just yeah. kidding. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually the worst deadline ever. Six hours total to finish this project. Um, <laughs> that would yeah, be horrible. Yeah, I, I, I want to say to any clients out there, do not try to get somebody to do things in six hours because <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> but anyways, we do it. It's a challenge. We're doing it here. Um, so that's that. Yeah, that's this bag. Um, Ooh, a Spice Odyssey. That'd be great if we had a line of teas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. You've got them all in a row. That's really cool. Yeah, so this is a good way to present it. Do you think we should have... So for you guys, because we were going to post it on Twitter, and just uh, oh, yeah. that way you guys can take a closer look if you want. Maybe it, we'll just post this one image that has one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Um, and then we'll um, share that with the feed so you guys can take a look through it. What Do, do, we, have, do we use a tagline or, or just a hashtag? Ha uh, hashtag Adobe Live. What's happening? I'm just like, what do you think? Um, yeah, do not try this at home. <laughs> I hope this coffee is good quality, too. I wish I was... Well, can, we can pretend I'm drinking it right now. It tastes pretty good. Actually, probably shouldn't drink this entire thing, because if I drink more than a cold brew and, like, the half coffee I had earlier today, I'm <laughs> never going to sleep again. <laughs> I'm going to have a heart attack. So the hashtag is Adobe Live? Yeah, hashtag... So if you guys go on Twitter, we're about to post right now... Um, yeah, uh, just hushed. Yeah, that's that's the one. And we're just going to post this up so you guys, if you want on your computers, can take a better look. I know sometimes when things are, the feeds are refreshing depending on where you're at and what your internet connection is, sometimes the the refresh rate makes things kind of hard to look through, but this will make it so it's on your computer. But yeah, I'm with you guys. For me, yeah. I'm the most attracted to six right now, but Javier is going to pick two options to finalize today. Yep. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of what we need to vote on right now. Yeah, so right now it could be, you know, if this is a real project in the studio, this is kind of an, an internal presentation and normally 
Uh, we would have other designers uh, create stuff as well. So we would have, you know, Ooh, there's a pole you know, now. two or three times yes. amounts of, of this, or, yeah, or maybe even more options. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is just kind of, you know, really rough. I work really loosely when I'm coming up with these concepts, uh, the typography, and it might not be refined. I haven't gone in and 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 current anything um, uh, too detailed because of timing, obviously. Uh, so. After we pick two options, I'll go in and, and, and refine the type. Oh. What's that? <laughs> I went in and voted oh, myself also. Oh, there's, uh, a, track <laughs> there's a poll now. Okay. So, uh, this um, is them coming in. Oop. Oh, whoa. It's nice to see them coming in. Oh, this is so fun, guys. Vote, vote, vote. I wish we had little stickers to give you. Get out the vote. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, do you have one in particular you're most attracted to right now? Or are you kind of... I, I do, yeah. I, yeah, I do. Oh my god, you know what also could be really funny? If number three had like glow in the dark in its varnish so mm -hmm. that like, the bag at night actually glo has glow in the yeah. dark moons. Not that you'd be looking at your coffee at night because usually you drink it in the morning. But yeah, I, I guess know. we'll give that like 60 more seconds. While you guys are voting, do you have any uh, questions for Javier while we're just, you know, letting the numbers roll in? Hoo -hoo. Six is a good horse right now, though. <laughs> Yeah, wait, vote in the, the thing, because that's easier. And I also, like, wouldn't be able to tell if you guys are voting over and over again. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, I, I think I have three favorites, but... I still really... There's part of me that's absolutely in love with number two as well, but I think I just don't like any color on it. Mm -hmm. But I also voted number six. Again, I just think I like things that are black yeah. and white. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna... I'm gonna give it 30 more seconds, and then... So what do you plan uh, once you have the results? Yeah, I'll take two of this. Um, look at the typography, see if it's if it's looking right. Because um, uh, I'm just copying and pasting over from one direction to another, and maybe yeah. I re rearranging it quickly. To get a good feel of what uh, of the back, of the back, the whole back. Where do you get your fonts? The, for everything on yeah. here, I use Typekit. I, right? I was committed to use uh, Typekit, which I've never used before, um, so and so I, I I haven't used uh, almost any of this typefaces. I think the only one that we started with at the beginning was Bodoni. That's the only kind of familiar yeah. font, um, but we chopped it up and made it. Option three ha uses Bedoni on it. And you posted oh, and it on one. Twitter as well, right? If you just go under like the most recent stuff in uh, hashtag Adobe Live on Twitter, you'll find it. Yeah. Or it's, what's I your Twitter handle? Uh, Javier G Design. Javier G Design. Um, yeah. And I guess one person said, do you have any advice for interviewing? Which is, you know, do you, uh, do you actually interview yeah. candidates at your job? Yeah, I do. Um, I don't just be confident, just, you know, it's, I think the design world is not so serious. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can, you can be a, a little bit more relaxed and personal. And, and uh, for, for me, for us, for the studio, it's really important to get to know the actual personality of the person. So if you dress a certain way, I mean, don't even try to, to yeah, clean yourself up. I feel like up, I look you know? like a really great, like... I think I, like I look like a graphic designer right now. <laughs> so <laughs> Wearing we like, like a Hawaiian T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, as, as a designers, we we like personalities and and, and we embrace you know um, whatever whatever you're into. That's cool. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would just say also like crush it with your portfolio. Yeah. And there another example of your portfolio without realizing it is your resume. Do not if you're going for a design job have a word resume. Yeah. You should have it designed out because it's another example of how you how you can use design thinking yeah. while you're sharing something, which and, I think is important. And you don't need to bring a printed portfolio. Like all that stuff is maybe dead by this point. Uh, yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe some studios do like it. I don't know. But, but like when you send your you CD, can just bring your 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 iPad and, and then just have a work. sexy. I mean, we have Squarespace now. Behance has a great portfolio yeah, site and, and we've, option. I'm using a, a mock-up here. Uh, you can create your own, or you can buy a, a, a pre-made mock-up. Make sure your word, yeah, your work is presentable, also. and uh, yeah, just kind of walk th walk through your process. Uh, it's really important to know your thinking. So if you have sketches for something, if you have, 
um, conceptual ideas, maybe show a little, you know. Um, oh, is brief. there time for you to demo the image, mood board, layout, and InDesign? I actually downloaded some images right now. If you just give me like five seconds, we can do that. All and right. actually, maybe yeah. can we, is there a way for us to do, I'm gonna s open the poll results. Did I, unless I, oh, did I close out of it? All right, so I'm closing the polls. Ooh, wow, we had a good amount of votes. And I guess I will share my screen really quickly. Which one am I? Am I? <laughs> this one? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it looks like number six is the number one <laughs> winner, and number one is comes in a nice second place. So are these number the ones one? that you... Um, were most attracted to? Or are you surprised at the feedback from the audience? Yeah, I mean, this is also like they're kind of like our, our kind of like a client right no, now. The, the, <laughs> those are those are definitely in my favorite. There's another one that I that I really like Which too. One? Um, yeah, so I'll just here. Let me, here, let me go right gonna, back onto your. Uh, so I feel like mm. number two. Mm. Number two is the first one that I'm gonna kill. Okay. Um, I even I, I like the graphic a lot. When when I dropped it in initially, I was like, "Wow, this looks really cool." But then I try to I try to put the logo over it, and it was hard to 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 show. Yeah. Um, and then I try to put so it's like legibility over issues. It. Yeah, legibility, legibility issues. Um, so actually, did a, a lot of times, um, you know, as in, in in your personal work as a freelancer or as in, in a design studio, you present so many options. So a lot of them could be really cool. But unfortunately, they all kind of live on a hard drive forever, and, yeah. and nobody will ever see it again. So uh, instead of just killing that direction, I actually did something for it, inspired by. Um, oh, nice! What, Na oh, nice! No way! <laughs> it's like your Starbucks CD. Inspired by by uh, what the guys after me are doing, uh, Simone, Hugo, and Leo. Oh, that's awesome. So maybe this guy's our one. Shall we say some prayers for number two? It's yep. been resurrected as a different thing. So this is awesome. We turn it into a record. Why not? Um, it has a little <laughs> bit of a kind of Peter Saville vibe. Yeah, Enjoy no, the this vision. is awesome. Uh, so we got the uh, the ambient earthy vibes compilation volume one. <laughs> ambient um, earthy vibes compilation. Weird other world. Weird or the oh, it's worldly. worldly. It's worldly right oh. now. I found a typo. Uh oh, I'm real, I'm really good at typos. <laughs> I can be your uh, yeah. <laughs> the QA person. So we're otherworldly synth jams from <laughs> an unknown planet. Unknown. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, maybe this could be a cool little synth uh, ambient. So that's that. Oh, that's fun. So did you kind of know that it was going to get voted off the off the design island? Uh, nope. I just that, I, I I just had a hard time working with it. Yeah, uh, and I didn't want to kill the graphic. So okay, so if I'm in, just really quickly before we do, I guess we could do it. I'll go to mine right now. What Did preset do you use for InDesign? You can just open a uh, tabloid horizontal. That's what I usually start with. All right, tabloid. I can or just vertical, go. Well, matter. I can go here and just change it. And Where then just that? go Command D to place image. I don't know if you have a folder of images. There's a way to change this really quickly. To what? No, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. So what am I gonna do here? Uh, do you have a folder? It's images? called images right here. Uh -huh. I made it. He's so, the only. So it's the only place, one so file. who's not in the crying. Oh god, not in the crying, Leo. Mm -hmm. So go to file. Okay, we're gonna go to file. Uh, place. Place. Com it's command D is the shortcut. Command D. Okay. And then go to your folder, your desktop. I'm gonna hit open. Uh huh. And, and then, then I just downloaded everything. some yeah. images from Unsplash, and you just hit open. Uh -huh. And then it's gonna ask you to draw a box. So draw a box, a big the, one, the size of the the artboard. Don't let it go. And and now can click the left arrow or the right arrow. Sorry. What do you mean? The right arrow here. So that that gave you two columns. Ooh, nice. Okay. And then if you click up or down, it'll do rows. Okay. So one, two, three clicks up. And, and then it, what do I do? You just let it go. Oh, nice. And everything is And then you just resize these in here. Yeah, you just resize here. the image inside. Because I have a bunch of weird wonky images. Oh, okay, that's cool. And then so you just play with it a little bit in here. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, but cool. I, I, I like that. You can't do that in Illustrator. So whenever I have a bunch of images, 
um, or you know, a large document or whatever, I'll just grab a bunch of stuff and put it in there. And, yeah. And, and like moving around. That's how I create mood boards for when we do brands. I'll just drop a bunch of stuff and then reorganize it. Uh, maybe conceptual by concept or whatever. Okay, cool. All right, so let's get uh, yeah. So let's get back into I'm it. Gonna go second one that's gonna go for me is um, probably number four. Uh, well, I like what what it's doing and, and I like the look and feel. I think there's better stuff, <laughs> more more uh, graphic. I'm I'm more of a graphic guy, so. Well, it also like it has elements of number six, but number six crushed it. Yeah. You know what I mean. Mm hmm. And then after that, uh, this one I, I, I actually like the the pattern behind, but I'm gonna kill number three because um, it just uh, for some it feels too premium. The client can't afford to have this many varnishes. Yeah, <laughs> it feels <laughs> feels too premium uh, to me. Uh, almost looking like a tea or too something. bougie. Yeah. Um, so you know, just didn't have time to really explore different uh, different look yeah. for this. Uh, it would have been nice to keep this pattern around. But that one's gonna go. And then um, my three favorites are one, five, and, and six. Okay. Well, I mean, one and six. It was six, one, and then I don't. I can look really quickly at what I don't remember what the one that came in third place is. But let's just bring in. Uh, we can also tinker with number five also mm -hmm. since you know we have what. We have about an hour and a half, so uh, time's a ticking. Alright. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna... So the way we dropped all the images in one step before was to just uh, go in InDesign and then under, what is it, File? Uh, you just click Place. And it, it lets you place, you can just select all the images in a folder and then they're all ready to rock. We will always remember number three and four. Always. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> they will, they will uh, yeah. live in a, a hard drive forever. In a hard drive, yeah. Until it becomes like an outdated piece of technology. <laughs> yep. And then nobody will ever see it. Oh, man. Well, I guess <clears throat> you guys are seeing it right now. Oh, shit. <sighs> I've I'm already gonna, participated just... in too much coffee. <laughs> just going to clean up my it. boards, create a new document. And so how do you do, so when you're doing these, do you every day save over, like save, and then have a new day as the variation? What is your naming convention for process, yeah, processes I, like this? The, uh, I'll, I'll usually, um, in the studio, I'll, I'll, I'll name it round one. I mean, whatever the client, the project, then R1 for round one. And then I do a little version to show you guys. Um, Rob! What's going on? Uh, my favorite. I'm glad you came in today. <laughs> oh, you missed the intense voting. We so had to this is some designs off this the kind island. of my naming convention. I, I'll just do. Say. I'm doing day one here. Yeah. You know because that's. But I'll, I'll do round one, uh, round two, whatever, and then each round gets like a 1.0, 1.1. 1 .1 so every, every time you do how iterations. often? Like what gives it the next point? Like is it a lot of variation? Like if you just uh, tweak some, a tiny yeah, thing? Yeah. Sometimes it's just me being. Uh, Extra cautious to save. Because I'll move something like an inch and be like, yeah. version two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> version 25. Yeah. Version 56. And this is some of the other stuff we killed um, Ooh, is this yesterday. coffee decaf? No, I don't so this is the one so. I had. Ooh. I had a hard time working with this one. This one was kind of doing something, but uh, just, you know, timing is is uh, is a thing right now. So it's going to have to go. Nice. Okay. So what are we going to do right now? Which one do you want to play with first? I guess, do you, should we do, which one do you think? I'm going to start with this one. Okay. So let's see, I kind of, this is the the Bodoni typhus that I started with and we chopped it up. I actually went in and mm -hmm. cleaned it up a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so this had serifs and you chopped them off. Yeah, I chopped them off. I left them on the eye. I thought it was mm -hmm. kind of a, a unique a touch to it. Um, to now, do you get in trouble with the the type companies if you do that like is it I don't think against so. as long the as license you, agreement I, I guess as long as you have the license yeah um, should be fine nice. but um I guess as long as you don't resell it mm -hmm. <clears throat> so let's see kerning was really hard on this one I was I spent a tiny bit of time oops what's going on here I'm gonna take it out of there Oh, so you like to separate it when you're going yeah. in and doing it? Yeah, and you guys can help me if you see anything 
Any spacing issues uh, for me? You might be able to scooch that E in a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you were right there. Obviously, it's turning to outline, so I can't go into the the actual kerning. Yeah, so this, the Eclipse type was modified, so he outlined it and then went in. Did you use the pen tool or the eraser? What did you, did you uh, use? No, I, I, just quickly to see how it would look in the beginning, I used uh, the eraser, but I actually went in and just drew, I used Pathfinder to chop. Pathfinder? Yeah. Yeah, Pathfinder just, is a really amazing tool. I just drew like a square, like for example here. And, and just, I, yeah. And chopped out serif. Boom. From um, the Pathfinder. The mysterious. The best way to practice <laughs> Pathfinder is to <laughs> make <laughs> iconography. I think because you're because you're creating so many shapes, you're usually you're gonna be combining and yeah, uh, doing all sorts of yeah, interesting the, things. The mysterious Pathfinder, right? But yeah, well, it's not that mysterious <laughs> once you practice it. Yeah, but I, in the I, beginning, it was like the Google "I'm feeling lucky" I button, where I'm, you're just like, nah, button I'm, I mostly use this one, the merge. Uh, merge. This one, the chop sub, whatever. Minus front. Yeah. Yeah. And then this one. To just divide. divide. I think those. I, I, I don't really Unite. know the other ones. Some of them are like, oh, yeah. Uh, I also see. use the one that's fourth to the right. I don't remember what that one's called. But the, it good gives old, you just a the good old trick section. they tell you in school to do. The L is, this seems to be like a lot of space here. Yeah. <laughs> this uh, shirt was 50 cents in Joshua Tree, guys. <laughs> I'm really excited. You're getting about compliments. It. Yeah. <laughs> nice. My new thing is uh, I watched that documentary. Uh, what is it like? The true cost. It's like how much the Earth is getting destroyed by Forever Twenty One and all those other things. Mm -hmm. So now I just go to thrift stores and I'll just get recycled clothes instead, which also are just like way cooler. I've discovered. Yeah. Um, so I definitely recommend you guys should just go to your lo local uh, thrift stores and just get weird. Yeah. <clears throat> morning coffee with Victoria and Javier. That would be great. Except I'm really grumpy in the morning, usually. You need, like, hour after Victoria wakes up and has already had a cup of coffee. Morning coffee TV show. You know, we can spend hours on this. Which is yeah, why, I know. That's the hard thing when you're is, on live. Which, which is why I've never done this. Or I haven't done this to any other type in there. But just... Quickly, this is looking a little better. Yeah, I had this one when I had my live video in uh, February. I realized that I wanted to do this thing where I was masking letter forms behind all these branches. So it was like probably three hours of just erasing stuff work. And I was like, oh, God, guys, you do not want to see me <laughs> do this. So I was like, I'm just going to do a really rough sketch of it right now. Yeah. And then tomorrow it'll be like, I'll take it out of the oven and poof, it's already done. So from there, actually, when I was picking the logo, I had more of a geometric typeface for coffee, a more like a uh, more rounded circles, and I actually chose Nimbus Sans, which is okay. slightly <coughs> more condensed, uh, mm -hmm. kind of mimicking what the C shape is doing. Yeah. And I think I don't. I have a different typeface here. So. Do you have a rule for how many typefaces you allow yourself to use on one package? Uh, just two maybe. Okay. Uh, I mean, you can you can use more than that, but um, yeah, two is a good number. Or one. Uh, I'm gonna change this to, to Nimbus. Take it front. I really think inside the organic fair trade logo circle, we should have a little alien head. I'm just pushing for anything outer space. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun stream. We were all over the place. I was panicking so much because I was trying to only edit things I was shooting that day. Oh God. The morning, but we secretly recorded it yesterday evening live show. That's exactly what I need. Ah, what are you guys up to tonight? It's the Thursday night. Are you guys like going to like a happy hour, getting ready for the weekend? Tomorrow I'm mm -hmm. going to Toronto. I have a very early flight, but a dinner with these guys, meaning I'm not going to feel so great in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Someone writes the logo isn't centered now. Okay, I'll go, I'll go back and fix it. Oh, nice, nice. You know, this is really boring stuff, but... But it's like, hopefully... it's the real stuff. These are also, we're all nerds here. Yeah. We, this is the stuff we like to do. So I just, <laughs> I just, I'm just centering my type. 
Oh, the long road home piece was really awesome. I think I did you tag it on Instagram? I remember that. Or Twitter? What's that? Oh, just people are talking about a, a neon. I did a tutorial oh. on how to do day to night neon typography, oh, yeah, and I someone uh, someone yeah. made one of the pieces from the tutorial. So my logo is in the center. I'm just gonna go ahead. Let's see. This is nice. <clears throat> I'll group this. Oh, this is going to be painful. I have to do it to all three skews. Yeah. I mean, also, like, in this case, if you want to just, like, work on one of the three, yeah. and then you can be like, I would, you yeah, would, I would hand yeah. it to someone all else right. to apply the changes. Yep. Or do you do the changes yourself for all these things? Because you're a design director now. So how has that changed this, like, your role from what you... When I was just a designer, I did, like, everything. Yeah. And then when I became an art director, a lot of it changed where there was a bigger shift in me doing strategy over the design work. Yeah, no, I don't I don't touch the files. I, I have a lot of people working for me, so yeah. they'll just take care of that. Um, and do you ever jump in and, like, <laughs> I'm tinker? Kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh. We, I actually, yeah. Just do everything? Yeah, it's, uh, we're, it, our studio is actually very um, hands-on. Everybody works on stuff. Uh, um, I used to uh, I used to have this thing where we hated titles because it, um, I think just being all everybody just being designers and not having egos is the best thing. So yeah, whatever. Uh, I mean, everybody does their thing. If you have to hand it off to somebody else to finish it, then then because of time you have to yeah. work on something else. You hand it over. But um, we we're very hands on. I I still design stuff. Um, I, I'm in a lot more like uh, client meetings and things like that, which yeah. kind of takes. Takes me away from my desk, but yeah, I really, it's not, it, for us, it's not like, oh, I'm a design director, I can't, yeah. I'm not going to touch this. No, no, of yeah. course. There's always like a variation. I just did notice like even Ugh. having to shift my focus to doing more of the, the it's the, definitely, the, not, I don't want to say the BS end of the spectrum, but pitching things to people. It's yeah. a whole song and dance that <laughs> takes a different amount of time. It's Hello. definitely challenging to, um. To just kind of take care of. Yeah, he's gonna go back in and adjust the logo. He's right now just tinkering with groupings right now, yeah, got and just a little, plopped it back in after he did the kerning. Things got a little messy. Also, here. James, tell tell your daughter happy birthday. Ten <laughs> is a fun year. I don't know what ten year olds are into these days. I think I was still into Barbies. Oh, I hope she feels better too. Let's see, um, are roast date and origin the same height? Uh, no, we're we're going through we're we're tweaking. Wait, ro roasted we're in the tweaking process, so yeah, I, I think they are. Oh, we were uh, we've been in a a very big rush to get this, and it's only been what it was four hours. Now we're about we're at one forty three now, so we've got about an hour and fifteen minutes. So yeah, I think <laughs> uh, it's looking a little bit more centered. What um, were some of your least favorite past projects? Those are questions that are hard to answer on television because yeah. the client might be watching. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I had gonna... one with a dog brand that I won't mention that was a disaster. And then they took the ideas that we pitched them and went with a different company making them. Like from our spec work, essentially. Yeah. yeah. We've definitely had some terrible clients, but... Yeah, I also I, don't understand it, these spinner things. I don't want to. Have you seen these all over the internet? Those little yeah. fidget spinners? I don't know what it is, but they're everywhere. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm, out of, I'm out of the loop. I'm finally old. <laughs> I stopped and got some Nescafe Gold Blend. I mean, a Glyph's Coffee. Uh, Harry Potter is the best. It is like you do have to wait till your kids are a little bit older though, because it gets pretty dark. The last books are like it gets real. <laughs> He's using smart guides, right? Yep. Yeah. Is that what it's called? He's more of a an optical designer. Yeah, smart guys. I, just, I like. I'm more of an optical designer. Too. I like how sometimes it snaps, have grids. Yeah. Snaps to points. That's my favorite thing about it. I I like things. Did you precise. deliver something you knew sucks, but the client loved it? Nod your head. Oh, yeah. The oh, client yeah, always sure. picks things that, like, you can give three options, and they're always going to pick the one, and you're like, please no, please no, please no. Where are you going with that uh, my, one? My boss, um, Joel, <laughs> always says, um, 
whatever you show, what, if you show something bad to the client, they're most likely gonna pick it. So. <laughs> yeah. We try to show only the stuff we like. Doesn't always happen. Uh, sometimes for strategic reasons, one option seems to speak more to the to the brief and all that, and, and we might show it. Um, yeah. It's... Sometimes they take surprising risks though. I did something for Sony earlier this year, and I did not think they were gonna go for the crazy idea, and they mm -hmm. did. I was like, what? We always, we always, <laughs> no way. We always try to pitch for like, you know, the idea we like the most, and and and, and we try <laughs> to fight back if you know something yeah. doesn't go the way we wanted. But and so when you were taught to do this, this just helps to show you like where there's. Awkward gaps. Yeah, where there's more like space. Like I, could, I still see a lot of space in the owl, but if I bring it closer, you uh, might start having legibility issues though, where people mistake it for like a weird U yeah. if it's too close. So I'm trying to make hello Juan space in here. You are noticed. <laughs> Fidget spinner. I don't get it. I had all sorts of. We had like pogs though. What other weird craft did I have when I was a kid? Pogs were a big one. Poly pockets were kind of cool. Those weren't like cool to bring to school though. <laughs> I would say pogs were cool to bring to school. Pokemon cards. So let's see. I'm using the same typeface. Okay. Europa. Let's Europa. See what we got here. What would you suggest for a person in the beginning of this whole world of graphic design as a hobby? How can you find a good source of inspiration? I grind tutorials uh, all the time. I would say Google as many tutorials as possible and. Yep. In the beginning, do tutorial tutorials of things that you like the final output of. Yeah, I, I for me, um, I, I think a, a designer is 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 mostly a trained eye rather than like software knowledge. So yeah, I think just grabbing books and like just filling your head with all the stuff you like, like find your niche, find find the kind of stuff you wanna mm -hmm. you wanna design and absorb it, absorb like whatever you've seen in the books, um, take it in. Um, uh, maybe focus on a style for a little yeah. bit. Try it out. If, if that works out for you, then keep going. And if not, switch over to something more classic, something more modern. Whatever, you, whatever you're into, typography, whatever. Um, just start uh, soaking it in from books, from inspiration on, on the internet, you know, Pinterest or whatever kind of source you want to use. Uh, for me, like just having that trained eye, uh, knowing what looks good to you, um, that's kind of what makes a graphic designer. And then, you know, there's mm -hmm. always people that are super good on the computer and can do crazy stuff. Some people are not as good, but can create uh, stuff that are as good, you know? Yeah. So software is just, it's just a tool. Uh, you can do things by hand. You I'll can do see, things. but I'm very like on the, I think technical skill is important. But I yeah, was, oh, did, I went to design school though. So I learned my eye because I paid a ton of money yeah, for I mean, to learn that's that. What, that's what school does. Yeah. Like they started, <laughs> More, more than teaching you the software, they, they, they teach you about the history of art. They teach you about all these things that you yeah. start to kind of soak in and like you start to get a better sense of, of balance, of like composition. Um, like, I don't know, like for me... I don't think you can make a ligature with the word coffee. Oh, maybe the top part of the F could go into the other F, but you start to get really funky. It might get really weird with the legibility mm -hmm. if it's too small. What so anyways, I'm here? using a uh, typeface called Euro Europa. Um, I've never used it before either. I really like uh, it. But I really like how uh, geometric it is. I think it kind of matches what, I, what I'm using in the graphics. So that's why uh, I initially dropped this logo in here, so, uh, just liking the, the, the geometric shapes on it. So I think I'm using Europa on all this. Uh, so it should be good. So this is technically one typeface all throughout. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of cool if you can pull it. Uh, we Where just, did you go to school? No, I went to the Academy of Art in San Francisco. Okay, cool. I went to University of Buffalo. <coughs> What's up? <laughs> I actually started. I started school in in Mexico, and then um, and then switched over, came down here. Nice. Yeah. So I'm from Mexico originally. Anybody from Mexico down there? In well, the see. Uh, so people are, you know, going back and forth about working in 72 versus 300 DPI and RGB versus CMYK. <laughs> but right now, everything we're doing is vector because we're in Illustrator. I'm actually working low res on a lot of the stuff I'm using. Like, I think I downsized this. Oh, wait, this is there. One of those is actually an image too, right? Yeah, this, yeah. this bladder thing is an image. <laughs> and, and I'm actually, um, I, I made a low resolution version for this uh, just because, um, um, because I don't want my computer to crash. 
Yeah. Uh, but um, and then you polish it in like a yeah. In the end, you sh you should have everything at at least 300 DPI. In case of bitmap images, this need to be super high res. They're not going to be huge files, so you need to have them at like uh, either 800, at least 800 DPI or 1200 is the ideal yeah. DPI for a, for a bitmap that you're going to use for print. So, uh, for but for right now, I think I'm using. 500 or 600 I don't remember yeah what I... what's interesting also now because I do a lot more I'm a photographer now so I do a lot more stuff on the photo end of the spectrum and you actually print like with RGB with photography you do not print CMYK mm -hmm. um, so it's really funny oh, yeah. because your colors get like kind of murdered by CMYK with certain things if you try to print that way for like a book cover for instance I have to redo a lot of my techniques and do a lot of funky conversion processes to get I actually, what I did on a computer to look the same in CMYK. I actually like working on like my preferences here are uh, are on RGB. Yeah. Mostly because neither Pantone colors or or um, or CMYK colors are going to show correctly correctly on mm -hmm. the screen. So I think you're looking at this in, in RGB. So I think for me it's nicer to work. And then you RGB. have a color book, and then you just do you yeah, just once, make the adjustments once, with once spot it colors. Once it comes down to finalizing the file, you have to grab a, a Pantone book or or, or a, yeah. you know, a color. Uh, Pantone books are CMYK expensive books. as hell. Yeah, they are. Holy moly! I didn't realize how expensive they were until we needed to see something to make sure that it because it does look different. It looked completely different than mm -hmm. what I saw on screen, so we actually changed the color. Um, but I had to go to a print shop and then just ask them if I could just look at their Pantone book <laughs> because uh, we couldn't. It's ex it's insanely expensive to get one yourself. I had no idea. Yep. And I actually cheated on this one uh, for my brief. Oops. How? What's going on? I don't have the. I don't have the whole beans listed. In there, uh, which I think is part of you that. can take some liberties. <laughs> yeah. Well, it depends on the printer you're using. Yeah, it seems like a silly statement, but I'm telling you, when you do those neon, the day to night photos, they look really, really funky when you print them CMYK. You have to redo it. It's really crazy. Ooh, nice. Is there a video where Rufus does this? Maybe I'll just Google that to see what he has to say about it. Guys, all right, I have to take this away from myself. <laughs> I have like a nervous tick where I like keep drinking it and I'm going to have a heart attack if I don't stop. Oh, I didn't realize, so is this actually like more of like a silver? Uh, or no, would the intent be black, think, black and white? Yeah, I think it's just black and okay. white. Somebody mentioned though <laughs> that this would be cool if it was a silver bag. Yeah, I kind of think it would be um, really sick. I like that idea. And the back kind of looks like that. If we already. want really bougie coffee, it could be made from real silver. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> a real, um, it's a Tiffany's sponsored oh, bag. <laughs> I also don't have the organic. Actually, this middle one could be like a Tiffany's bag. Yeah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> I actually don't have the organic or thing here, um, which I'm just gonna tell the client that organic is outdated and nobody's drinking it anymore. <laughs> People are only doing biodynamic now. Yeah. Uh, I really love this one. This one's definitely so. My this favorite. one looks looks in pretty good shape. I'm using an extended typeface called ter, uh, Termina, Termina, and a Nimbus Sans. Um, normally, your instructions will tell you to not mix two sans serifs, but I'm using a. a I barely use sans serif. Or no, I barely use. You really don't mix two sans serifs, really. I usually do like a chunky one and a thin one. Yeah, that's time, what but... I that's what I was trying to get to. Like I'm using a, an extended one and, and and one that's not. So I think it uh, that's okay. But yeah, they they're might usually like they're condensed. usually in the same family though, which I think you can get away with. Yeah, them. some typhuses have like a um, like trade gothic, for example, that would have been uh, a nice one to use here because it has an extended look like this. Yeah, and it also has a regular version. So coffee could have been on trade gothic, but um. And which the name of this font is Nimbus Sands. This one is Nimbus Sands, and this one is Termina. But I, like, it, it, I barely can tell the difference. Trade Gothic well, is I not. Can. One's a lot wider. It's not on type. It's upside down. So I'm. Oh, okay. So that's why I'm I'm just mixing two different typefaces. But since I'm using like 
Uh, all, it's everything is uppercase. It is funny that just flipping it upside down tricks your brain into being like, oh, I see an issue here that I didn't see before. Yeah. I was reading it before. Yeah, it's weird because you, you, you don't look at it as something you need to read. You kind of look at the spacing. <clears throat> this one's kind of weird. It's because it's a like a wider font. It's also yeah, the, the letter L, forms in the this, L the L, I, and then the two E's with curved letter forms next to them. It's easier for the E, C, because the E and the C almost have the same. Uh, it's also kind of tricky when you're using your keyboard to flip through this, because going backwards is going forwards. And, oh, yeah. And it's upside down. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. I'm excited to see everyone's poster submissions. I started taking a peek earlier. Maybe I'll take a peek again in a couple minutes, but. Was there anybody from Mexico in the chat? There was. I think Rob said he was uh, either from. Were you born in Mexico, Rob? Are you still here? I think uh, that is. Mexico City is on my. Very, very high up on my list of yeah. places I want to go. They have a really, really amazing Mexico City is awesome. um, art galleries. Yeah. Yeah, the art scene and down food. there. The design scene is also <laughs> yeah. growing down there super big. So there's a lot of really cool studios that are opening offices down there. I would uh, definitely drink this coffee. I do think, though, maybe like the, I would go like that the one with nothing in it would be a dark roast and then the lighter mm -hmm. roast would have the more white the more white in it someone yep. in the audience brought that up and well, let's make that happen that's probably how my brain would think about it as well the Oops. dark roast is like Shit. there's nothing in the sky <laughs> oh this is gonna be more work than i expected let's do it oh mexico maryland is there really a mexico maryland <laughs> is there i guess rob and i uh Grew up in the same area. So, what what you what do you think this one's the light? Yeah, well, maybe like the one with the most moon in it would be the lightest roast, and then there's one like the medium roast would maybe be that like moon landing one. Yeah, that and then the dark roast would be like. So this the one one's that's fine, like, right? So we just yeah. switch this too. Oh, nice! And you didn't even have to like change all that. You just change the background. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh. Uh, <laughs> close enough. Yep. Okay. Dear, I wish I could say. I think this one wasn't too bad. Um, to work or to clean up. No, this is definitely like. I love this. And what kind of foil stamp is it? Gold or is it going to yeah. be silver? I was thinking of gold, so it kind of stands out. There's no color on it, so. Yeah, so we've switched it now. Light roast is the lightest. Um, and then yeah, the, the dark roast. Dark. So actually, maybe we should do the opposite with the, uh, maybe the dark roast. Oh, wait, are you doing yeah. the strength here? Yeah. Where you I, just keep it the outline? That makes sense, to keep the light roast to the left. I can just turn this around. Is that what you mean? Hey, I'm trying to figure out the symbols now. Yeah. Well, it means like full bodied though. Ooh, from what time is it in Germany right now? Night boat? Oh, that would be awesome. I really want this to be my summer of boats. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I actually get sick if I'm on a boat, but I'm just, I see, I think it would be cool to do some boat activities this summer. Dark Rose has less caffeine? This makes no, what? I don't understand coffee at all. So yeah, I think that <clears throat> makes more sense as a system going from left to right in the icon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 There's that. This is really nice. Yeah. Um, this one six is still. There's something about the one all the way on the right with uh, number five that I love just because it's such an abstraction of yeah. I what actually, we've been doing in this process. I, 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 so this is my favorite one. I somehow I really like this graphic. It, it's just uh, aesthetically that's 
What would it look like with like a white? What if you just have no color on it at all? What do you mean? I'm like such an anti-color oh, like person this? for this. I'm all like black and white, black and white. Or is it just too, is it too boring then? I think we need like a little color to make it. Yeah. Or, or, or do, I mean. There's a shampoo brand that does a really cool thing where they have actual like, it's not just galaxies, but I think the shampoo I have has a one of the NASA galaxy images as the background for the label. And then the I, rest of it's really plain. I just don't want to add, like, I could add a more subtle color thingy here, but it just kind of interferes with it. Yeah, especially when I mean, and then this black. whole thing's getting swallowed. Yeah. I like so, the purple, too, though. I mean, I'm going to keep it like that for now because we have a deadline coming in. Our presentation is coming in soon. Night boat. We have, what, one more hour? Uh, yeah, we have actually probably like 50, 55 minutes. All right, I'm going to... So save, it's... Did I resave this? Uh, what we could do is if you want, you could put the three that you've just worked on next to each other in one artboard so you can just... Yep. So you don't have to apply changes three times over because... Mm -hmm. I kind of... I'm going to leave it leave it like this. Um, uh, maybe we do like a little kind of presentation uh, uh, setup. Where we show the client uh, first, we show the logo, then we show. Oh, nice. Okay. When we show the one pack, and we kind of go over the information. So you're gonna whatever. show how you can. And then we show like all three packs, and just kind of do all options like that. Okay. I'm not gonna go over the the details and clean it up because that's gonna take us forever. But uh, for the time being, we're just gonna do that. I think. Uh, which is what we normally do. Um, Hopefully we have time for to finish it. Cause I also I also have some like mock-up. Uh, oh, coffee. drop it into Felix for mock-ups. I didn't even think about doing that. I haven't practiced Felix enough yet. I gotta <laughs> do that. I've been trying right. to learn C4D, but it's like. What's Felix? Felix is a new uh, Adobe software that does 3D renders. So you can put your stuff. Oh. You can get all sorts of like coffee packs and put your design, and it'll actually render it in 3D. Nice. And it's like. For people who don't know 3D that well, All right. so it, it's really, it's a really awesome program. So, where do we go? One of the million things I need to tinker with. <laughs> I have so many things I need to do. One, two, one, three R boards. Uh, I don't know if I should. I, maybe I should. We should go into making. Um, Making what? Uh, a mock-up of a coffee cup. Oh, that would be fun too. Do you have one already downloaded? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah, let's definitely do that so we can show uh, a little more process to everyone before we, uh... well, I guess, how many minutes do you think you need for your... Um, shit, I'm not gonna take too long. I think we, we, we should be fine. I'm just gonna do like a logo page here. Do like if this was a reality TV series, there'd be like that montage of like the client like is walking yeah. down the hallway, and you're like, oh. I think we need to do like a <laughs> like a build up in the end, and uh, uh, we can't get that. I feel like it'd be really cool to have like huh? a reality TV series of design, but I feel like that would never work because nobody wants <laughs> wants to watch this process other than like this group of you got you awesome nerds. I'm gonna uh, go with the. Uh, I think they tried to have like an art reality TV series once, but it like so, sort of like the one where they do for fashion. It just didn't work out as well because people just didn't it's care. Real -based. Yeah, real world where you just put a whole bunch of artists in one like one house together. It's like how dare you call me Dada? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do about this one. You got a really simple logo. Yeah, the artboard, it being lower than the other ones, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it might just bother you if you're looking at it, but when yeah. it all like renders out as a PDF, it's, it's yeah, not going to make gonna any export, adjustments. Yeah, uh, as, as an image, so. Oh, you just installed Felix? Who? Kelly, well, let me know what you make. Let me know how hard it is. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> Shout out to Kelly. She works with me. Yeah, people are like really like the artboard is lower. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. Mine are all over the place. Like when I'm like 
trying to work out something really quickly, it's like, well, just go, go, go. So is this going to be the label for the cup? Or are you just... Uh, no, this is like uh, just flipping through the presentation. Oh, to show the show, logo. I'll, okay. I'll go, okay, so here's our first option, blah, blah, blah. So you're showing right now, you're going to help show people how to, they should present things, yeah. like maybe in what kind of order. I mean, yeah, this is how I do it. Um, so just, you know, there's different ways to do it, but you can just be like, oh... Our first comp said this, blah, 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 and, like, show this, and then, like, and here's our bag, and blah, 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 and the system. Oh, God, win 10. Anyways. Yeah. Um, I'm so on the max spectrum now. It's too this late one, for me. Even though this one, even though number two is still my favorite, I feel like once the client sees this, they're going to be like, whoa. Like, this big splatter thing. Oh, my God, yeah. This is also cool because if the client ever needed to like have decks and stuff, these uh -huh. are really good splash screens. Actually, what am I? What I'm gonna do here is. Yeah, Corey Barker is really really cool. We he was here when I was here last time streaming. It's crazy the stuff you can do, um, in Photoshop with 3D now. I do a couple little things with 3D. Um, luckily, I've got like a behemoth of a computer that can uh, handle it. I should just get one of those desktop computers, though. I just like having something I can bring with me everywhere. Just the god of shortcuts over here. Mm -hmm. I really gotta... Oh, wait, I don't even remember. Okay, yesterday, M makes a rectangle. Uh, e makes yeah. a circle. Because... No, L. For ellipse. Yeah, L for ellipse. <laughs> I'm yeah. trying to remember all the. I don't even cuts. know what the key commands are. Sometimes. You just like I just know like, the muscle memory. Yeah, I just. So someone yesterday had a really great suggestion where you could either one turn off all of your tools, so you have to learn the shortcuts, yeah. which is a hardcore method, or you just pick one thing every day, or once a week, and you make sure that that's the one that you're like consistently learning, so you learn the, the shortcut language. I actually copied the, the, the back because it's got a nice texture, and if I just use white, it won't show. Oh, so yeah? Gonna... Oh, so you have to blow it up? Yeah. It might get pixelated, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to group this. I'm going to mask it. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> yeah. So... I use a lot more right uh, clicks <laughs> than going down to the option I want. Here it is. I think this is going to have a big impact on the client once, like, if you get to this image, they're going mean, to. You could define your own shortcuts. I wouldn't want to do yeah, that, though, because every time I ruin a computer and need a new one, I'm going to have to set up my workspace all over again. And there, there are some that are, uh, like, there's some that don't have commands, and you can add a, com or yeah. a key command to it. Um, so that's, that, I, I do that too. Um, I mean, I know like quite a few shortcuts, but I don't know them. Like I'm not using them every time I'm like the way you're using them. I feel like you're, you're pretty much straight using shortcuts for the, like for a lot of this process. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I got a little better with this, this thing. So like I said, under pressure, um, at work just kind of forced me to, to learn it. Yeah. Um, it was a little bit embarrassing too. So that's a good thing. I gotta say, the one that stands out to me most just as a logo by itself now is the first one. But in the package, I'm really attracted to the third one. I'm gonna cheat. I mean, I'm gonna show the dark one here. Just to not reveal too much of it. Well, also because all the other ones you're presenting have the darker. I feel like it'd be like, whoa, white background. Yeah. Yep. Oh, the shortcuts so, might be saved in the cloud. That's true. So I did resave. Oh, you just Ryan. did the thing, Ryan? Did it work? So here's where we start going into final, 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 final. 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 For real this time, <laughs> I promise no more changes, or you're gonna have to pay for them final. Okay, just one more change, final <laughs> dot one. <laughs> and I'll make a, a folder in here so that I, I know. <laughs> I love the third. Wait, I am the third. Uh, Rob, keep the dad jokes coming. 
I know I said I wouldn't have another sip, but I want one more. I got a little wire earlier with the coffee. I don't know if I was just stressed <laughs> out about this thing or the caffeine. If I but overdo I the shaking. caffeine, I can't work at all. Because then yeah, my hands are too helps shaky. To get in the, in the mood. Okay, so. Oh, see. sweet. I didn't know shortcuts. So if you customize all your own shortcuts, they're saved in the cloud now, which is awesome. I really do oh, love okay. libraries where I can have all my assets right next to me in a panel to drag in. That's a really badass feature. How are we doing on time? Are we, we are at time. Uh, 50 minutes. That was, I was trying to do my like space time voice. I wish I had a <laughs> button to do it. <laughs> so, <good. clears throat> this template has two cup sizes. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop and you got you downloaded these assets. Let me go with the taller one. Yep. Coffee, the final frontier, as it's like slowly <laughs> going across. Yeah, we are we need some alien um, taglines for this. Like, yeah, guys, uh, we love space puns, alien puns, sci-fi <laughs> puns. Like coffee from people people up in the sky or from the people in the sky or some dumb thing like that people are really bothered can you align the third artboard so that you know they can okay a fine it? it really doesn't matter because when are... you export it's just going to become a pdf but and, I, and i'm sure people we got will, your backs i'm sure people will go into my stuff and be like oh the type is like blah 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 but He's got one hour. Yeah, <laughs> total six hours for this session. So did you get the mockup from a premium website? Yeah, you got. Yeah. Where did you download this I think one it's from? Like Pix, Pix, uh, Pix Eden or something like that. Oh, Pixaden. Pix yeah, and that's a free. That's a place that has a lot of free mockups. I think these are. But this for a nine dollar a month yeah. subscription. Yeah, I think you pay a subscription. Adobe has some really cool stuff. Adobe has a lot of three D mockups in uh, for Felix as well. I'm pretty sure. There's sources so. all over. There's a lot of public domain. If you need to do some quick mock-ups and you don't have the budget to license all this other stuff yet. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and make this 150 DPI. I don't really care about. Oh well, yeah, right writers. now to just speed up the process. Yeah, because this computer is. May the coffee bean be with you. We were scared that if we did something with anything Star Wars, am I even allowed to say that? <laughs> if we like, he like mm -hmm. has some sort of like everything's bugged and you'll be like no you're using my ideas i'm gonna sue you <laughs> where is this crap uh, Clip. shadow the hell oh there you go oh yeah hamber yeah the what is it called design burger no graphic burger graphic burger is a good one for free uh for free mock-ups i use that all the time also especially when you have a quick turnaround uh a lot of times I found when you're presenting stuff to clients, if you don't have them actually in their potential final stage, they're yeah. not going to understand how what you've made would transition into that. So you have to kind of mock it out for them mm -hmm. or they can't actually visualize it. So let's see that. I'm on a smart layer here. Um. Battle Mug Galactic Cup. Wow, that's a really clever one. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. Ooh, First Encounters is a really good one, too. You guys are good. So that's probably the most standard It'd thing. It'd be really cool if this do. client was really rich, and you can have it so that when hot coffee is in the cup, then the color comes out. So it starts out as just a white like ring, and then when it's heated, the color activates. <laughs> well, I always, like, I've never had a client who goes for ideas that expensive. Yeah. But if you're ever working with a baller, that would be awesome. They're they're definitely rare. Heat changing. Uh... Ooh, that's fun. Is this for a napkin? <laughs> no, this is the actual oh. like, smart <laughs> layer. Like, oh. I'm just I'm just playing around, see what I could do to make it be a little bit more exciting rather wow, than just. Wow. Is that is that not looking? Probably not looking like an eclipse. So. Yeah. Maybe you could add more like, oh yeah, or maybe like a little corner element. Yeah. Bean Me Up, Scotty, was uh, was one of the ones yesterday. It's definitely still one of my favorites. Actually, I have the dark side of the bean. That's good, too. What do I have in here? Where are my notes? Was it an Evernote? Notes. I want to bean leave. 
<laughs> um, that one's a stretch. It looks really good right. when it's written out. Take me to your grinder was the best one, <laughs> I think. I'm gonna go Take with this one for now. Grinder. Oh, but then we thought that, that that could be mistaken for the app. Never mind. That one's save out again. My links, mockups. Uh, let's see. This name is Eclipse. Oh yeah, the little dripper. Paper cup. <laughs> you guys are good. Direction one. Boom. And so how many elements do you usually have to present? Would you have just, we're gonna have the coffee bag, you're gonna have it in a coffee cup, and you have the logo itself. Would you usually have other things? Like, I know a lot of times, and that's when you already have a finished product in your portfolio, you like to lay things out in a really beautiful grid. Um, um, like if I go right now. Sorry, I lost people. you, I got, I got. Distracted. You're in the zone. Yeah. Well, actually we'll go to your Behance. And I, what am I doing? I've okay. got the power with these buttons. Hold on. So if I go through to left computer, you can see my computer. Well, he's tinkering right now. And if I just click on one of your, so these are, you like to shoot the, the final product. I'm trying mm -hmm. to, oh, you know what the, it was the identity for nickel labs. You did a really amazing job laying these things out on a really nice grid here. Mm -hmm. Would you, this is, you never do this for a client. This is after you finish yeah. doing all the stuff, because this would be like a crazy amount of work mm -hmm. for a pitch. Um, but this is a really fun way to present all of the identity work together um, yeah. when it's done. And they do have, Graphic Burger has things where you can download a template that does this. It has all this stuff, and you can just like plug in what you've done to all these different things, and it'll make something like this for you. Um, but you actually shoot these yourself. How often, like, how much, how much work does it take to lay these out perfectly? It's it, it's a pain in the. <laughs> yeah, I I normally um, I just set uh, the camera on the tripod, and I look at the viewfinder. I sketch things out actually for. Yeah. I sketch where where I kind of want things to be, and then I kind of look at my viewfinder and start composing for my sketch. And just move things like to the left, to the oh, right, up, down. Good. EC phone home. And EC <laughs> stands for Eclipse Coffee. Ah, oh, nice. EC phone home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the. Someone had another creative. one. What was the other one that someone had with the? It was one small sip for man, one giant cup for mankind. Yeah. Yeah. I've done. I really like. Uh, there's a. There used to be a whole Tumblr of people just, it's things organized neatly, mm -hmm. where people just like lay things out I've in this like that, yeah. really beautiful grid and then shoot photos of them. Mm -hmm. But I'm like a walking disaster, so like if you thought <laughs> that artboard was bad, woo, you do not want to see my studio. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is, okay. it's like, <laughs> there's just chaos. Yeah. But I know where everything is in the chaos. When I clean up, then I can't ever find anything, because I've like put them in weird places that I don't remember why I put them <laughs> there. Ooh, 2017, A Coffee Odyssey. I like that. I like it. No one here fears caffeine. A Coffee Odyssey, I like it. Did you guys see the new Alien movie? I missed it. I had tickets, but then uh, I could not go. I heard it's like a little cornball, but it's good. I like it. I also hate scary movies. <laughs> but it's I get that scary. peer pressured by my friends to go all the time. <laughs> Oh, I like this one. It's just the simplicity again. We actually send these beans to outer space <laughs> and then bring them back. So they're actually, out. that's why it's so expensive. And that's so good. That's why it's so good. All right, I think. Uh, I, don't wanna, I, don't, I don't wanna play too much with this one. <laughs> what did Alan say? I watched a really funny, you know that YouTube series where people eat the hot wings while they're getting interviewed? They had one with Neil deGrasse Tyson recently, which was really funny. <laughs> yeah. He's really good at eating like spicy things. <laughs> Some people like cannot take the heat. <laughs> All right, what are we doing with this one? We're doing like a full cut mug. Right, so do you guys out there do a lot of package design? What kind of design work do you guys get into in the world? Out in the world. I know some of you were working late. 
yesterday, or not yesterday, on Tuesday, time. someone was watching while they were gardening, which I thought <laughs> was pretty cool. I've definitely watched these at work before. <laughs> The use of dark matter or void or vacuum or emptiness, yeah. Those are the general themes of my life. <laughs> That's my branding. All right, so I got number two. Oh, you're organized? How do you do, my desktop is organized. Like I'm a really, really efficient, like, this is where the only I'm, organization I'm trying to be in. organized and usually when I have like a really crazy deadline things are just all over the place I try to be organized but when when it's really well, tight when deadline, like, yeah <laughs> but since I got people watching me do things I'm actually trying to be cleaner than I'm usually oh, nice. so what do we have in here we've got oh guardians of the galaxy where where do you live oh in, in Russian okay See, working on a rebrand now. That's fun. Is it one you really enjoy doing, Ryan? And illustrations, nice. I'm trying to work on getting better as an illustrator. A lot of it's the muscle memory. I just have to get better at working with my hands again. You said you drew that tattoo you have, right? Yeah, I did. Here, we That's can show it on good. the GoPro. My favorite. Is it upside down? It is upside down. <sighs> I can't do this. And my hands are shaky. But I drew this on the iPad Pro in Adobe Draw which I thought was pretty cool. It does feel kind of like uh, weird to have drawn a picture of my arms <laughs> at, on then tattooed it on my arm and it's my <laughs> artwork, but whatever. <laughs> Take me to your creamer, that's good. I had one I was trying to pitch uh, a long time ago and they didn't take it and it was, um, we were trying to do like a content marketing campaign and we wanted it to be super intergalactic and I had done this really elaborate illustrator uh, like alien abduction thing where they were trying to, they were saying take me to your content, <laughs> but like they didn't go for it. It was too fun, <laughs> <laughs> but it was really, I had, a, I had a long time. We did an entire site where each page was like a different pun theme. Yeah. Yeah. There was like a Viva Las Vegas one, it was good. How do you organize a space party? You plan it? Yeah! <laughs> do you have to be messy to be an artist? Definitely not. Especially designers, like architects. Most designers I know have literally the cleanest apartments I've ever seen. They look like yeah. they are straight out of like an Ikea catalog. I'm not, I, I'm not like that. <laughs> I almost think that's fake and, and it doesn't exist in this world. Um, my studio is crazy. My apartment's pretty clean. My room's not the cleanest, but that's just because I have way... I live in New York. I live... My room is like a shoebox and I have way too much stuff for the size of my room. Yeah. Let's see. All right, one more sip. Don't tell anybody. Looks too stretched. Theme is craft. There's a lot of work being done on it. Oh wow. It was like my dream a long time ago to do like the packaging for like wine and beer. Mm -hmm. I thought that that would be so fun, but then I ended up being a digital, completely digital. <laughs> so it didn't work out. You like it? Yeah, no, I mean, I love it. My issue when I did do print for a little bit, cause I did like print advertising is that when you're doing uh, stuff for print, you have to submit to magazines like more than six months before the magazine comes out. Mm -hmm. So nothing's relevant. Mm. Like you can't play the way you can on digital off of trends that are happening. Right. Um, and so it just felt stagnant to me so yeah, I jumped like, right back in and that all the jobs also were in digital mm -hmm. so and now here I am um I don't know what else I could do with this one let me think let me think creative blocks here what if you made it because it's in a different context could you have the eclipse be a circle the negative space behind the logo instead of a or I guess you already have the moon though yeah I have, I, there's other directions I have or you could that. do it like without any moon on it and then make the the negative space, the circle. So it's like eclipsed fully. So you don't get to see anything. Let's see what just a black cup looks like. <laughs> this little star used to be so <laughs> cheerful until it got serious. That's good. Uh, more space jokes, more space jokes. I don't know, I'm Thorn. What do you guys think? Moon on the bottom or no moon? 
Let me see it with that again. It'll look a little funky because the coffee yeah, has two sides, so I don't think right. it's gonna wrap the right way. Yeah. See. This is a mock-up uh, he downloaded, I think, from Pixaden. Or... Pixaden, which is a place that for like nine ninety-nine, they have a whole bunch of assets. That yeah, they it's upload. like a monthly subscription, I think. How long have you been designing? It's more than it's like what, like ten? About, yeah, about like more than ten. Uh, 11 or 11, 12, 12 years something like that i'd say like i don't I even know i don't even want to think about what it here was it it's actually like for me i started learning everything when i was in high school so i feel like i've been using photoshop and premiere pro for 12 what if, years what if, now um... <laughs> gross Shh. we'll just pretend it's eight how about this one is... Um, Everyone says no moon. No moon, right? No moon. Ooh, golden top. Can you change the color? I was, yeah, of the... I was looking at the top. Maybe oh, I'll the make top it white. could be the moon. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, where is this? Uh, <laughs> we love voting. Uh, where the hell did this cup go? That's not it. That's not it. There we go. Cover cup. Yeah, what is that? What does that mean? Yeah, I like that. Nice. I always also love when people add or little not. design elements, and we're not going to do this here, but on the inside of the cup, so when you're done drinking the coffee, it's like, oh man, there's a moon in there. <laughs> or like something weird, like a joke in the popsicle sticks. The relationship between coffee and space here is that the brand is called Eclipse Coffee, and there are lunar eclipses and yep. solar eclipses. Uh, and I think I just kind of tied it back to the, you know, being precise and like dodging eclipses because they're bad for you know yeah crop or, or harvesting and all. Yeah, that, that was interesting. So. Uh, an interesting find that they were seen in a very negative. Light. Yeah, by, an, by ancient. Like, um, but now like everyone's American. obsessed with them. I mean, I remember yeah, it's the a super moon. Effect, yeah. Do you guys the super harvest moon, the super blood moon last year? And I live in Brooklyn, so like, of course, it's like full of hipsters. And I go on the roof, and there's this big, gigantic red moon. And then, of course, like people start howling at it, so you can hear like the entire neighborhood, <laughs> like random hipsters on the roof, are yelling at the moon. <laughs> that was funny. <clears throat> dark side of the coffee yeah i know wouldn't it be awesome if like every time you're working on stuff you could just like have this kind of instantaneous feedback yeah. sometimes when i'm in the final like photo edits before i post things to instagram i'll do a live video and kind of jam out with people on what i'm working on and it's been really helpful to get uh insight from other people especially when i'm a little bit stuck also sometimes speaking out loud about it Mm -hmm. helps because you're getting you're, you sometimes answer your own questions while you're asking them mm -hmm. so funny like sometimes I'll be like wait wait like come over here and then as soon as they come over I'm like just kidding I figured it mm -hmm. out it's so good it disappears in seconds didn't they actually just uh, they got a really crazy espresso machine in the International Space Station. They like did all this crazy engineering so that they could get it to what? essentially like drip or whatever in an anti-gravity situation. That's insane. And we're down to uh, it's two twenty-nine, so we've got about twenty-five minutes. And then we've got oh. another great stream, and I think you have a few hours left to do the poster competition, which I would highly recommend doing, because who doesn't love a free year of Creative Cloud? And who doesn't love to just, like, tinker around with typography and fix an ugly poster? There was a project I thought about doing where, I don't know how many of you have been on the New York subway system, but there are these god-awful ads like there are so many horrible ads where you just take pictures of these ads and then as just a fun creative exercise you have a tumblr where you show the ad that existed and then you show like up like what what it could have been mm -hmm. instead um 
Not that you should be doing spec work for people, but it's just a fun exercise and being like, come on guys, like, <laughs> this is such a neat area where you could do a creative stuff on the subway. Get a designer. <laughs> so I think I'm for the, I'm just gonna. Oh, the... it does look kind of like the Mr. Robot, the uh, Elliot's Journal and Mr. Robot. In the bags to me, it looks very much so like like a moon with a star field, but out of the that context, it does look a little bit like a like a composition notebook. <laughs> it's the final countdown. Do, 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 I, I googled Rickroll yesterday. Do, do, do. Oh. I, I've never. <laughs> Damn, we really should have just like. Yeah, you spoiled it. For so me. what happens is like in comments they'll be like, "Well, you like you won't believe this," and you click it. And it's <laughs> just that video. <laughs> like, so they got me the other day. I'm. It's kind of a web designer thing, though, right? Yeah, I like mean, a, no, it's just an internet phenomena. I mean, it's it just like when like you can custom? hide things and links, and then like people are like asking for. Uh, Does it have to be like a custom uh, URL, like? Because if you you be able to the see the biggest one like, of uh, all time on Reddit was when someone they were like, oh god, guys, it finally happened. Like due to a copyright infringement report, they have finally taken down the original Rick like Rick Roll <laughs> video, and then you click it, and it's the same video, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, no, because you know what you're clicking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was good. All right, so pretty good on time, right? Oh, I've heard of the rubber duck, the rubber duck thing. I was a web designer, so forcing themselves to explain it to a duck. Yeah, actually, I think that uh, our uh, lead dev dude uh, was the one who told me about that. Mine would just be called the like keep talking to yourself thing. I talk to myself all the time when I'm designing. <laughs> I talk to myself all the time anyways. I just love talking. It's nice when there's like, I have a cat in my studio, so mm -hmm. at least I can talk to him. So I'm like, yeah. Garfield, like, what are we gonna do next? <laughs> yeah, pets are nice to have. Do you guys have uh, pets in your office at all or no? Yeah, yeah, there, there's two oh, there's actually. there's the pug actually, the art director. No, no, that's a, that was at a photography studio that we, oh. were, we were shooting some <laughs> stuff uh, at some other photographer studio and uh, she had uh, two pugs. Pugs are so cute and so chunky. Eight hours. Oh, nice. That's, that's even more time than I thought. You guys, get that. So what if we were done with this earlier? <laughs> this is funny. Click here if you want the best prize ever. No, no trolling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit suspicious. <laughs> 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 All right. It does get stuck in your head forever. Yeah, I, I did listen to it like four times. I was trying to fix some things here, and I was like, I'll play it again. Uh, I'm super. Uh, I'm actually into like a lot of '80s like synth pop stuff. Yeah. So I was I was vibing with it. I was like, yeah, I remember this oh, song. Oh yeah, maybe uh, I will pull up the posters also, and we can kind of while you're jamming out on yeah. that, we can double down. They're all see the submission process. Just to double check, is everything is. Put into Twitter under the hashtag Adobe Live. Um, it was funny because you know, like this is like the pound symbol on mm -hmm. a phone, and like I heard a girl the other day like talking about her phone and calling it the hashtag symbol, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh god. In certain contexts, mm -hmm. yes, it is a hashtag, yeah. but when it comes to your phone, it's hitting pound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so funny. Let me just make sure everything is good on my computer. Boom. All right. So let's see what we got going here. I'm gonna go to latest. Hope I'm saying this right, Jesper. Wait, so can we see where's the original one? Is that one posted by Adobe anywhere? Where is it? Where is it? Do we have that on here? What am I doing? I I'm gonna go what I was doing. here. I'm gonna do this really quickly so you guys don't. It's not gonna like do one of those. It won't do an echo, but I'm gonna have it look at us for a second, and then I'm just gonna quickly log into the stream. That you know, it's gonna get. Crazy, I'm, I'm gonna watch us, wa watching us, um, just so that I can click that link, because I just wasn't prepped. Okay, I'm gonna click that, here's the template file. I'm gonna, I'm gonna exit out of that, because I don't need to see that. We're gonna go back. I'm getting really good at pressing these buttons, guys. Beep, boop, boop. So this is, okay, so this is it. We're gonna download this. Have you guys ever uh, asked for a source file and they give you an image in an Illustrator file? 
That's always a fun one. Okay, so I just want to see what this looks like. So here we have, just so that everyone can see it, see it. So obviously I would need to, re well, we're going to replace the fonts. these fonts anyways, because I guess. Okay, so here's the, okay. Adobe presents Live Beat Music Box Party, Saturday, May 27th. Wow, this is really is short. Is it a real, real event, or is it? No, I'm, it's got to be fake. Unless it is a real event, then I apologize. But John Smith usually uh, is, a, is a giveaway. DJ? Yeah. DJ oh, John in, Smith, uh, what is that? In Pocahontas, wasn't he kind of a jerk? No. He was the <laughs> hero guy. Just Live at Retro Club. Okay, so this is what you're working with, and you have to add colors... You need to do like Arial seriously, and then you export well, we have to it use and you Wait, share. No, they're using Arial right oh, now, yeah. so you have to like spice it up. Okay, so this is what it looks like for those of you who didn't download it. And so then what we're gonna go is go here and check out what other people did instead. Mm. This is pretty sweet. This is very uh like synthwave. retro, yeah, <laughs> synthwave. What I'd like, I think like the use of uh, gradients here would have been really really fun. Uh huh. More like on top of the instead, or actually maybe this would be perfect just without the. Uh, for some reason, I always have an issue when people put the like the drop shadow kind of effect with these things, but it fits with like mm -hmm. the '80s poster. Yeah, maybe a little bit of like, um, like organic texture. Or, you yeah, know, hand that's... drawn like that kind of. Uh, like adding brush, some noise. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. So like, if you go into Photoshop, a really neat trick is to. Um, Apply some noise to that. Yeah, if you're adding noise, like if I just drag, uh, where's my image? Even making some parts of it like a little blurry, like maybe you're looking at it through like a VHS, you know. Um, so if I just drag this into Photoshop really quickly, okay. and we go bigger. This is just like really quick. I don't know if uh, this gentleman's watching right now, but for things that look of this nature, it's really fun to add noise. Um, and I used use Gaussian and then monochromatic and like even that you can see right here like the difference between and it's hard it's subtle but you can see the photo changing and it just adds this really nice texture that gives it that sort of vintage paper feel mm -hmm. um, just you know for fun if you feel like doing it but some noise here would be really awesome let's see oh I will I'll refresh one more time while you guys are submitting and then we're gonna get back uh, over here in a couple minutes Still having fun. Woo! This is very uh, Space Jams. <laughs> we're good on timing, right? We have, we're at 2.37 right now. Uh, not an expert at math, but I think that means 23 minutes. Mm. Okay. All right. All right, all or right. Or 18. Oh, hurry yep. up. Well, listen, we've got some, uh, some 3D type. Whoa. I'm just going to do some pretty this lame. This is really creative. Check this out. As an interpretation Ooh. of the uh, the record, I wonder if they rendered so that the just blend, for this. Tool, yeah, or? I wonder if it's, a, is it the blend tool or is this a piece of artwork that they found? No, because it says beat over and over again. This is really clever. Blend tool addiction. Yeah, this is awesome. Body boy, are you in here? This is sick. I might change them. I think like I might love this just like white. I, obviously, I like things a little plain, surprisingly, for like how crazy my photography work gets. But I think this on a white background would just, it would give that like really, really fun, like minimalist, uh, illustrative vibe. Uh huh. Yeah, that would be cool, actually. It will, it will make it pop a little more. Yeah. I saw this one earlier. This is going for that sort of like art deco. I might use lighter colors on that, though. What's up? Yeah. Are you still in the chat? I found it again. For well, because you shared it again. This is a uh, you from uh, back in the day when I did a, a live stream. We had, we had a little thing where people did the uh, technique I was teaching. This is a really awesome one. Man, teaching people how to make gifts. All right. Is there one one new result? Nice. The only thing I think about dark purple is that it has a hard time rendering on digital. Um, so for me, these are a little bit hard on my eyes, but I like the this pink color. 
And I love salmon. This color right here, I wish that this was used more and more um, in design work. I'm surprised there's not more like isometric design for this right now mm -hmm. because it's got like this really nice, you could take this and make this um, shape Mm -hmm. This really amazing minimal three. Well, you'd have to yeah, do, like you'd have to trace D, right? it over. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Well, keep up the keep up the work, guys. We're gonna go back right over here. Boop. Let's see uh, what Javier's up to over here. Almost done. Bedtime. Well, good night, Paul. Hope you think of us when you have your morning coffee. <sighs> mm. All right. I think this is gonna be my final PDF, and I made some pretty lame title pages just to break it up. Nice. That's what the clients love. That stuff. Yeah. Normally, I would try to do something nicer than that, but um, or a nicer presentation, maybe like a concept and show the mood board before that, or um, conversations we'd had um, before that, and some notes, and then we will jump into the. Yeah. Do you ever the have directions? the sketches also in your presentations? It's just. Uh, like a storyboard no. kind of vibe. What the hell? Oh, it didn't make it into. This is also a really honest part of the process. <laughs> when you're like, dang it, why didn't it export correctly? Ah. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm almost there. We can just, uh. uh. Actually, Hello! I'm just gonna. Ah, why is it asking me to say? Did I avoid no. an image? I don't think so. I was just kind of clicking through. Okay. Let's try this oh, again. Are we ready? Should I? No, no, no. Not that's, yet. That's, uh, Wait that's, for the big uh, reveal. Yeah. It's presentation time. Come on. And so what's the deal Do with the right. contest? The top 10 winners get a prize? Or top 10 posters? Yep. Gosh, Sweet. It's not making it. It's not doing it. Oh, no. Why is he not asking me to ask? Have uh, most of you in the in the live chat here made a poster yet? It's a premium opportunity to show off your chops. There's one yeah. I really, really loved. PDF, um, yeah. I was just showing it to these guys over here. This one. But I think it should be a white background. But this is, like, sick. <laughs> I'm showing him the blend tool one again. Uh, yeah. It's funny, there's a, do you see, you can see the reflection of the, uh, yeah, the green a little bit. <laughs> Are you guys <laughs> like familiar really interesting? with, um, oh, okay, here we go. Did you get it? Files, yeah, let's see. Combine files. Oh, man. Thanks for saying that. Are we good on timing? So, Poppy says, I'm 65 and still learning a lot from you guys. Mm-hmm, that's good. Oh, yeah. What kind of wine are you going to drink? Oh, nice. You're doing it now. I'm excited. I think you guys both like, you know, if anyone wants to make one kind of inspired by this stream, that would be totally cool with me. Make it, give it a little intergalactic feel. I'm missing one page. Give away a one year free press subscription. Oh, right now? Yeah, they have to type a sentence with this. Okay. Just say thank you. So, okay, uh, we're going to do a, uh, oh, gosh, a giveaway right that. now. And... The clue will be, uh, what is the name of the map? No. Oh, wait, no? <laughs> what is, what are we doing instead? No, they, they type a sentence with a Javier. So they can say thank you or they just have Oh, to yeah, you have to just type a sentence with something, saying something to Javier right now. And you're entered in the contest. Yeah. Go. Go. This is my favorite part. You can, like, you should just take a break and, like, watch it go. No, I can't take a break. I gotta finish this. I can't this. take a break. So you just have to say something. Saying, use, say something to Javier right now. With Javier. I feel like I'm. Yeah. Going around in circles Javier. here. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, there we go. Serge got it. More, more, more. We've got to thank you. We've got a, Javier, it's going to be all right. Got another thank you. Cool stuff, Javier. Javier, you're the man. Javier, you're the best. <laughs> These designs are awesome, Javier. Brilliant, Javier. Out of this world. So inspiring. <laughs> it's a good so, one. Oh, my God. I can't read them that quickly. <laughs> you are my favorite alien. You love Justin Bieber. He, someone wants to be your friend. 
You have eclipsed your talent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for everything. This is awesome, guys. Don't, know why. Don't stress. Okay. Nice glasses. The best of design. Your work is inspiring. I can't. I, I can't. Ooh, it's so quick. <laughs> this is a great practice. And like, you know how sometimes you can test your type speeds. Mm -hmm. But here it's like, how quickly can you read? <laughs> and like speak out loud at the same time. Gosh, I don't know which one's the right one. <clears throat> awesome. What do we have for? Uh, okay, we got about. Nice, super great. Portugal loves you. I hope this is correct. I think I put things posted here twice. I don't know what acrobat is giving me a hard time today. Oh, thanks. One, Wait, two, three, Ryan, four. you gotta fix it. Put a V in there. I'm One, <laughs> two, three, four, and these are extras. Is hopefully, that a joke? Hopefully I have the right files. Are you ready for me to switch to you? I think so. And if something do, is do, messed do. up... Boop. All right. I'm going to... Wait, should we... How long does the bot let I'm people just gonna write messages? Uh, we can stop it now. Hold on. We're going to quickly yeah, announce... You're going to have to announce Nat, the winner. Nat Hanchet. Nat ha Hanchet has yeah. won the giveaway. Matt Tanchet? Nat. Nat. How you about that? Deal. Sweet. Wow. All right. Okay. Let's so do now this. we are. Oh wait, we're in it already. We're on it. This is. I'm in the presentation. If something is out of order, don't Whoa. freak out. It's not real. Um. So direction one. So we have a logo here, very inspired by Eclipse, that uses a color system to differentiate its play. Uh, the excuse. This is our bag. Or you can see the information, the hierarchy, the logo is the and this first. Is option the hierarchy. one, right? Option Direction one. one. We should actually put a poll together uh, for one, two, and three to and get then, a final vote. Yep. Yeah. And then this system extends to different colors like that. Yeah. And I forgot to take that number off the corner. It That's like, yeah, well, it's still Anyways. option one. So. so this is our system uh, using different colors for the different products. Awesome. And then we have our coffee cup. Really. So we're jumping into direction two. So here we're, we're inspired a little like bit more by the blade. movement of mm -hmm. the moon and uh, just uh, standing over the sun. I really like it in this context. Uh, really clean typography uh, that kind of simulates what the circles does. It's a very uh, geometric typeface with yeah. circular Cs. So this is how it um, applies to the pack. It shows a little bit of movement throughout uh, there's a little bit of pop of color, mm -hmm. and then it extends to the set, or um, or a dark rose would be printed on a black back, and the other two nice. would be printed. And the on light wrists? Oh, yep. I didn't even pick up on that. <laughs> Jesus. So, that's our cup. Some motion involved in it, and direction three. Boom. Aww. We're in the space. Um, so this one was just inspired by space, mostly. Yeah. And uh, somehow... It's out of the this moon, world, Javier. I mean, I would normally not tell this <laughs> to the client, but somehow the moon accidentally fell at the bottom here and it looked like a moon and we kept it. Yeah, that uh, was... We decided uh, uh, to use it in the Happy accident, as Bob Ross would say. And somehow it worked out into the system where um, uh, the light roast... Is, is correct, right? The light roast uh, shows uh, a little bit more moon, so more white. Uh, the medium rose shows a little bit less of the moon, and then the ro dark rose is um, uh, completely dark. So That's like the dark skies. We also, yeah. we also have a, a little uh, icon system here to show uh, how it goes from uh, light to dark um, uh, with the faces of the moon during yeah, the eclipse. Yeah, this is awesome. Um, and so maybe we can show these quickly one more time, and can we make a poll in the chat really right now with option uh, direction one, direction two, and direction three, and get like a final vote in the net for the next five minutes just because it's it's so fun let's see i'll just not already won the the giveaway so i don't know if michael our, uh, do you want to be the client do you want to pick one are you the Ooh. oh god the client you need a suitcase just like yeah. walk in like right behind us you, you you might be hated for the rest of your life for picking the wrong option, craters of the moon could be fun too yeah i'm voting number three also 
three was originally six, which uh, had quite quite yeah. the vote. Oh wait, here, woo! Guys, click the link and vote. I'm actually gonna log back in, Adobe. Okay, we vote too. Yeah, everyone's secretly bad. You're not allowed to vote. Because <laughs> <laughs> your screen's being shared. Oh, this is I'm so ner nerve wracking when you do the Adobe Creative Jam. Um, Cause you can see all the stuff. So num number, th yeah, number, uh, it's obvious guys, I'm voting number three. I've been talking about it over and over again. Woo! Yeah, bring them in. Get out the vote. Dark side of the mocha, that's good. Oh, guys, it's been so fun hanging out with you. I'm sad that we only have five minutes left together. <laughs> this is it. I'll Thank be thinking you guys. about you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you, yeah, Michael. Thanks, Javier. Thank you, Victoria. <laughs> and thank, thank you, you guys Victoria, for too. sticking around with this uh, super stressful process. I can't believe process. how many options you got in freaking six hours. It was. This is. This has been the probably the most stressful thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> What else are you gonna keep? Does it automatically refresh? Yeah, yeah. Number three is winning so far. Yeah. Come on, guys. Number two. <laughs> Some love for number two. <laughs> I know. That's my I favorite. always get attached to the. I pick number two. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. I oh. like the fact that there is the color code. Also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're a good client. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> are I went, they I electoral went, votes? I, went, I, want I mean, obviously. I want today. <laughs> uh. That's that. I just like the sneaky identity system in the third one where on the dark roast, it's completely like dark skies. Yeah. And then on the lighter roast, it's a little bit more of the moon each yeah. time. Yeah, I mean, two is my favorite visually just because I like really graphic stuff, but definitely number three does a really cool thing. I mean, so there's just something cool happening in there. Well, I guess we have about three minutes left, guys. Do you guys have any more uh, jokes or do you have any quick questions for Javier while you can pick his mind for the next three minutes? Love types in in number two. Because, uh, yeah, popular vote is number three, but so, yeah, I, our I client can't... vote is uh, actually number two, guys. I can't read the, the comments <laughs> on my screen. I have to look at this screen over here, so I've, unfortunately I can't see what you guys are saying most of the time. Uh, now I'm looking at them. Do you actually design your own album artwork for your band? Um, what band? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think collaborating. I, I like when, with that kind of stuff, I like collaborating with um, other people. Just, yeah. you know, kind of stepping back a little bit, letting somebody else, somebody actually sent us this really cool art, artwork. Um, I'll post this project at some point. I'll, okay. I'll really, but this, this uh, a, friend of a, a friend of my bandmate, made just sent us this r random image that he made and i was i fell in love with it i was like this has to be it if it someone asked fit. do you visit mexico city ever i haven't been to mexico city in a while i'm from guadalajara i, I go to guadalajara more often uh, but i've been meaning to go to mexico city um so bad Let's see what we're gonna just we're gonna we're gonna go out with a uh you can look at our oh, yeah look at us can we have a space background one more time oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that should have been like the yeah yeah Whoa. yeah clone We're heads would be cool space. too. <laughs> That's my favorite. Green screens are my favorite thing. Yeah, I've never been. I almost green wore screen. something that had green in the shirt, but I remembered what Dan Mumford did, <laughs> <laughs> where he was a floating head. Would you ever start your own studio? Ooh, are those questions you're allowed to answer? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Say goodbye. Oh shoot! No, while we yes. use more, you could ask him on Twitter. Yep. <laughs> See you guys. Thank you for sticking around. Have a nice this, weekend. Uh, boring process. <laughs> <laughs>